Pakistan. On then the one side, you've got the Taliban, which has made an international commitment that their soil will not be used for terrorist activities. On the other, you've got uh, the likes of Amin Haq coming <coughs> back to Kandahar to a rapturous welcome, uh, chief of staff of uh, you know Osama bin Laden, and then the world back wonders. From whether there will be action taken by the Taliban against uh, Al-Qaeda leaders or do you think that they'll be happy to host them like they did in the late 90s? Uh, thank you for having me. I think uh, Taliban is also uh, like any other human beings uh, going through transformation. First, second, the comparison that you are putting to 1990s and then to 2021, I think uh, uh, we should be careful that we are uh, uh, discussing uh, decades, not years, not months. In decades, uh, country changes. Uh, the development that uh, now we have in Delhi, 20 years ago, the Delhi was not the same as it is. The BJP uh, leadership that we have uh, in 2021 uh, today, it was not the same uh, 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 leadership as it was in the uh, 90s. So uh, uh, structures and institutions and uh, uh, people, they change. Taliban are also going through that big change. International community, U.S., uh, they have recognized them through a peace agreement uh, uh, implemented completely. They did withdraw all their troops on the ground. Uh, they have been still in consultation with Taliban for uh, recognition and legitimacy. Humanitarian aid and many other uh, things are already on the ground. Uh, the uh, people that we name them as Al-Qaeda or uh, their affiliates, uh, I think they were considered affiliates and Al-Qaeda members in 1990s. But in past 20 years, for example, Khair Khwa, uh, Nabi Omari, for example, uh, Mullah Fazil, many of others of them, they were kept in uh, Guantanamo for more than 10 years without being any trial, without being uh, uh, giving them any formal prosecution. So they have been released now. They have been back to Kabul, to uh, the uh, power center of Afghanistan, the political power center of uh, uh, Afghanistan. They are very curious. They are very cautious about making their new setup, new political set setup, uh, because they are considering all these issues that we discussed, the legitimacy, recognition, human rights, women rights. No, but you're giving us a broad with, uh, sweep. You're not telling us your group. insights into whether you believe uh, the Taliban will allow a free run to the Al-Qaeda? Sushant Sarin raises a very important point. No, will they no, act against no. the Al-Qaeda? Or will they just let them be and let sure. them flourish? You no, know, sure they will, uh, they will do because they have an international commitment. Otherwise, uh, uh, the international community, uh, EU, uh, US, they will get back to Afghanistan with their forces. They will be uh, uh, back uh, in Afghanistan fighting. They have a commitment, a formal commitment with uh, US and NATO, uh, a written commitment that we need to fight against any terrorist groups, not naming on, only Al-Qaeda, but any terrorist groups around the world if they are sheltering, if they are in Afghanistan, if they are nearby Afghanistan, to fight against them together.